What up guys, my name is Eric, this is Racing Ram Fam, and in today's video guys, we're taking this 99 Ram 1500 5.9 liter Magnum, so 360 cubic inches of displacement, and we're gonna be stuffing it in that little red lawnmower right there. So yeah, we're V8 swapping a lawnmower. Uh, we've had this engine laying around the shop for a really long time, and I feel like we need to do something with it. It was originally gonna go in whitey when the little 5.2 blew up, but that thing just keeps kicking. So we're gonna do something in the meantime with it, and we're gonna be putting it in this little red Toro lawnmower. So we gotta get this motor out of here. We gotta get the motor held up, figure out how far we gotta lengthen the front end to put that big V8 right there. So we got the deck off, the motor's out of it, and of course the thing's up on its heels just to see what we're dealing with. So you can see the stock steering is just like a push-pull style, which will be fine to lengthen this rod or whatever we're going to do. Um, we're probably going to stock it. You can see there's like a stock C-channel that goes all the way to the rear diff. We will be using the stock rear diff. Um, we have a 90 degree gearbox so we can go from uh, horizontal drive to vertical drive on this guy so we will be using the stock hydrostatic rear end for right now to get it to mow the lawn because yes i actually want to use this to mow my lawn so uh we are going to have to lengthen the front i don't know how much but i think to keep rigidity of the chassis we'll probably run our quarter inch two by twos to like right here or something and then maybe tie in a little bit more maybe box this stock c channel in um, i don't want to mess with all the mower drive and everything so we'll probably just cut it off where the motor used to be and then lengthen it from there but i think we're ready to set this guy down and actually hold the motor out in front of it and figure out how far we're gonna have to actually lengthen the front of this chassis out to get that motor and a radiator to fit uh, this will be a stock efi style so yes we'll have fuel injection on our lawnmower running all eight cylinders uh, our little donor guy right here we've never heard her come to life so hopefully she runs good but the guy we bought it from said it did and it seems like it did have a good running past in its past life lol <laughs> we definitely have to mount a lot lower than that but you kind of get the idea of what we're going with here that's a lot of motor for lawnmower though so let's get these stock front frame rails cut and then we can figure out the lengthening we need to do in order to do this because I want that motor a lot lower than this. So now that we have a rolling chassis, uh, we're gonna get the motor positioned exactly where we wanna put it, and we're gonna start making the back motor plate slash starter holder, and we'll start making the front motor mounts. Uh, we've already traced out how the motor plate's gonna be on a 904 transmission. So this shows us exactly where the starter's gonna go and how it's gonna bolt up. And then we'll draw it a little bit with some measuring to fit in between the frame rails of this bad boy. So we're gonna get this motor in place so we got the motor plate all cut out marked out on this quarter inch piece of plate so now we're going to actually start plasma cutting this out and then drilling all our little holes to mount to the back of our engine we're also going to try to save this because it's pretty sweet got the motor mount plate uh, bolted up so we're gonna tack weld this into place and then we're gonna test fit the starter as you can see where we're gonna be putting the starter with this actual motor plate so you can see the starter is gonna be held right here uh, against the flywheel 
So we're gonna get this tack weld in. Actually right now, let's see if the starter fits. It looks like our starter is gonna fit perfect right there. So yeah, so now we can start blasting this motor plate in. Which is kind of nice, they uh, cut the motor mount off, but it works great because I think we have a template for both sides to cut a plate out. Oh yes, so that's gonna work out great. That's awesome. So we're gonna use this motor plate to actually make our little plates for both sides. So let's go get these plasma cut out. Well, let's go get traced out and plasma cut out on the bench. Time to do the other side. All right, so we got the motor mounts welded in. Uh, I think we're ready to take the cherry picker off of it and see what it looks like. Let's get these wrapping straps out of the way. And then see what she looks like under her own weight. And here comes the cherry picker. So there she is. It actually sits pretty low on the chassis, which is nice. Cause it's not like blocking my view or anything. It actually feels like a legitimate lawnmower. And it's actually very perpendicular. So uh, I'm happy I measured four times and then welded those in. But I think this is gonna be an awesome project. So guys, uh, hit that subscribe button because in the next video, we're gonna get this 5.9 running on the lawnmower chassis and hear this 5.9 come to life. So make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, comment down. If you guys are pumped to hear the 5.9 liter Magnum V8 swapped lawnmower come to life in the next video. So we'll have to do a fuel system, wire the PCM in and get it just buttoned up, replace miscellaneous sensors that are broken, get a cap and rotor on it. But we'll go over all over that in the next video. But <laughs> So we're gonna try to make the hood fit over it again by modifying it a little bit. Just to, uh, you know, she's gotta be a sleeper. My neighbors can't know that I got the biggest and baddest lawnmower on the planet mowing that lawn. So, again guys, thank you for watching. As always, keep it boosted, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!